Braulio Perez of NJ.com here with Matt Stavalkowski. We are here to talk North One Group 5 Final. Again, this is going to be a huge showdown. We got PCTI Ridgewood, a rematch of last year's sectional championship. Matt, I know you're very familiar with Ridgewood. What can you tell you about this team? Uh, this team is filled with uh, some really good studs, offense and defense. They can really gr ground and pound. I mean, they, they'll wear you down. When these two teams played on October 28th, uh, Ridgewood picked up the 14-7 win at PCTI. They forced five turnovers on the day, uh, one a fumble right on the goal line, another a turnover on downs near the goal line. I mean, th they just wear you down with their defense. And uh, Zach Fiegels and Drew Gransky are studs on the offensive side of the ball. And Wiley Sherman's been coming up big on defense with picks all year long. And uh, if it turns into a field position battle, kind of like it did earlier in the season, Fiegels, I mean, he's got to be the best punter in the state, taken after his dad, Jeff Fiegels, the old Giants punter. So. He can flip field position on its head, and that's a big advantage for Ridgewood. You know, with PC Tabs, I've seen them play a couple of times, and kind of sounds similar where they, on both sides of the ball, they got some playmakers, you know, on offense. You know, that offensive line, Carter Warren, he is just a massive, massive guy. He, I hop, you know, pancake blocks left and right for him. Headed to Pitt next year, and with him opening up big holes, Razier Ra Ra Jones, I don't know if you've seen him, but watch his highlight tape, blink, and the kid is gone. He is just lightning, lightning fast. So I think it's really going to come down to in this one if the offense can continue to gel like they have late in the season. When I first saw them play this year, they struggled against Montclair. And it was kind of a, a head-turning performance by Montclair in that one. PCTI, they really struggled. But as the season progressed, they continued to get better. And that's going to be you know necessary in this one against Ridgewood, a ranked team who, you know to their own, they've been – staying hot throughout the year not you know no peaks no lows they've been playing well all season so Matt I got to ask you who's who's going to win this one well uh, like you said I mean PCTI's offense is going to have to show up mm -hmm. they, they struggled earlier in the season against Ridgewood but I know uh, that's kind of following the same pattern as last year when Ridgewood won in the regular season and PCTI came back in the sectional final uh, can PCTI keep that form going this year I, I don't know I, I think the Maroons are going to get this one I'll go 21-14, Ridgewood. I just think their defense is too good. They're going to slow down PCTI, and they have a knack for forcing big turnovers at the right moment. I think that's going to be the pattern again this week. You know, you took it from me. I'm also going to go with Ridgewood, and I think it's going to come down to 21-14. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. You know, I think early December, you know, the weather is going to kick in a little bit too. It's, I certainly don't think it's going to be a high-scoring affair. So I'll go 21-14 in that one as well. We'll have live coverage of that game and every other game. Uh, here sectional final weekend here on NJ.com, so be sure to come back with us.